This is question 9 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Maths exam. We're asked to show that the points A, B and C are collinear. We're told A, B is parallel to this particular line given its equation and the next section B to C makes a particular angle with the positive direction of the x-axis. So the results we may be using in this equation, it's all to do with gradients. Uh, two sections, I mean if you imagine A, B, C, two sections of the line, or it's maybe not a line, it depends, if they're collinear. Uh, the gradient of A, B and the gradient of B, C, if we compare these, if they're equal, equal gradients, then we could say that the, the A, B and C, the points are collinear. So that would be our, our strategy for this question. So the results we're going to be using, y equals mx plus c, equation of a straight line, that's the gradient, the coefficient of x. Also, if we're looking at the positive direction of an x-axis, a line that makes an angle of theta degrees with that has a gradient tan theta. And that also works for angles with negative gradient, where that angle theta is greater than 90. The tan of an angle greater than 90 would be negative. It's a second quadrant angle. So it works whether it's a positive gradient or a negative gradient. So that result and this result are the two that we're going to be using. So let's consider A, B. So that's our first section. Y plus root 3x equals 0 can be rearranged Y equals negative root 3x. And if we compare Y equals mx plus C, we can see that C is 0, but the gradient is negative root 3. Now, if this section of line from A to B is parallel to this, then we know that the gradient of that section, AB, must be the same as the gradient of this line. So we've worked out the gradient of section AB. It's negative root 3. Now let's consider the next section of the line. If it is a straight line. So let's consider BC. And we know from the information given to us that it makes an angle of 150 degrees with a positive direction of the x axis. So the gradient of this section, BC, will be the, the tan of 150 degrees. Now 150, let's look at the quadrant diagram, 150 degrees is 30 degrees short. There's 150 degrees. We're in the second quadrant. It's 30 degrees short of a, a half ton. Um, so we should be dealing with the tan of 30 degrees, but remembering that the tan in the second quadrant is negative. Only the sine is positive for second degree, second quadrant angles. So it's the same as negative tan 30. So what is the tan of 30? 30 degrees is half of 60 degrees. We construct a equilateral triangle and chop one of the sides in half. So there's our 30 degrees. Now to get values for the sides, since we're chopping this side in half, let's say the sides are all length 2. And so chopped in half, that would be length 1. So we've ended up with a right angle triangle where we can work out what the tan of 30 is. Pythagoras would tell us that this missing side here would be the square root of 2 squared, the hypotenuse minus 1 squared, that's 4 minus 1. So it's the square root of 3. So the tangent of 30 
tau r opposite over adjacent 1 over root 3. So that's negative 1 over root 3. So the question arises, does negative 1 over root 3, is it the same as negative root 3? Let's rationalise this value. Let's multiply top and bottom by root 3. So in the top line we'll get a root 3, and the bottom line, root 3 times root 3, is just 3. So look at what we've got. We've got negative a third of root 3. Now, we cannot have negative root 3 being the same as negative a third of root 3. So the conclusion is that the gradient of AB is not equal to the gradient of BC. So A, B, C are not collinear. If you think about it, we've got a A coming down to, to B. That's negative a third, negative root 3, and then a third of that would be a lot less steep. So we'd have something more like this. It's certainly there's no way that A, B and C are collinear with this evidence that we've got, because negative root 3 is not the same as negative a third root 3. So they're not collinear evidences there.